moving on. <laughs> so we've been predicting <laughs> this one for a while, and it finally happened. So I, uh, I went to Kmart today to try and buy a, uh, I don't know, like a, a pillowcase or something to really make a point about this. So I'll just do this right here. Got my got my my white my white cone on my head here. For everyone who can't see, I'm very poorly folding a piece of paper into a cone over my hat. Someone sent in the 14 white supremacy words. So, God, here we go. We must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. Now that that's going to be taken out of context, let me talk about what I think about identity politics. I think identity politics is a load of horse shit. How about you? Yeah, I agree with that. I think... I think identity is a load of horse shit. I think we should all be wearing uh, masks and, and have devices that make us all equal. Well, you don't need a device to make us all equal. Listen, here's the thing. Let me Let me talk about race for a second. Because I do understand that that different races exist because of, uh, what are you shaking your head about? There's only one race, the human race. Right. But I'm talking about people have evolved in different parts of the world. You're going to evolve, uh, your different adaptations for the area you lived in. And you're going mm-hmm. to have developed different skills for the area that you lived in that like that were promoted through natural selection. Right. Yeah. That being said, uh, while not everyone has, adapted in the same way everyone is morally equal starting out now the choices you make in your life determine what kind of treatment you deserve from other people but every human being starts out morally on an even plane you can you, everyone can make good choices or bad choices and you can choose what you do with the set of circumstances you're born with that's why i don't like even though i'm a christian and i suspect that people are are born like, the, like, people who were gay, a lot of them were born that way, and they didn't choose it. And I don't judge a person based on the sexual attraction they experience. Yeah. But what you choose to do with your set of circumstances, be it race, be it sexuality, be it uh, having some sort of weird uh, gender dysphoria, as we talked about before, or dysmorphia, since we're going to go that route. Yeah. How you choose to behave in light of your circumstances determines uh, how people should look at you. End of story. So I don't care if someone is white or not. I don't care if someone is, is black. I don't care what the, uh, what, what the demographics of the nation look like. I really don't. I welcome people of all races. I've got, because why not? People are just people and people have the same motivations. Typically, you just want to live your life and survive. And I can't judge someone for that. What I can judge someone on is how they choose to go about it. And if you chose to go about it in a shitty way, then I think you're a shitty person. But that has nothing to do with your color or, uh, or any, any other circumstance of your birth other than how you choose to deal with the, the, the situation that life gave you. End of story. 